the impossible was possible, said Mauricio Macri on Sunday night, when he became the elected president of Argentina. One month ago, his chances were slim against Daniel Scioli, the ruling party candidate. But in one month, the center-right mayor of Buenos Aires was able to build enough support to defeat Cristina Kirchner's hand-picked successor. I'm here because you brought me here. And so I ask you, therefore, don't abandon me. Let us continue together that on December 10th, the wonderful stage of Argentina begins. It's here, it's now. Let's go, Argentina. Let's go, Argentina. It's here, it's now. And his supporters believe him. All of them say they're ready to work for Argentina. We have the support of the people. We need to start acting and not complain, so we can really change this country. Celebrations continued until late at night. The election results show that the majority in Argentina voted for change. These people that you can see behind me are not only celebrating Mauricio Macri's victory, but also the end of an era. After 12 years of Kirchnerism, the movement that Cristina and Nestor Kirchner created in 2003. The left-wing movement brought about deep government involvement in the economy, and many credited with pulling millions of Argentinians out of poverty. Among Cristina Kirchner supporters, there was sadness and defiance. People have no memory. Once things are doing okay, they decide to throw everything out of the window. Local media is brainwashing people. Macri beat Scioli by only three points, raising questions about governability. But analysts say Macri's biggest challenge is the economy. Oh, the uh, uh, depletion of the reserves of the central bank, uh, macroeconomic policy, especially throughout the last two years, uh, has been deficient. The economy has been stagnant for four years. Uh, so there's a change in the macroeconomic regime coming, and uh, it will be a, a pretty difficult to manage this uh, situation without it having an impact on inflation. Sunday was a historical day in Argentina, the first second round in this country's history, and the first time in 12 years that the people have demanded change. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.